All right, let's do this. Let's get into Game of Thrones episode one. I'm so excited. Telltale Games, you complete me. The Northerners will never forget. Begin episode one. If only they didn't they didn't tease us with all the episodes. If only. Begin episode one. What? Begin it! I'm spamming the shit out of this! What the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, it's working now. <laughs> I was spamming the... I think I broke my keyboard. That's why. I was spamming the fuck out of it. All right. Oh, God. Hope I see some incest right away. I'm just kidding. That's disgusting. And I don't ever... Ever. This game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. How you play. How you and how I play, not you. For thousands of years, House Forester had been loyal bannermen to the House Stark. In the darkest reaches of the Wolf's Wood, they harvest the rare ironwood trees. Now the North has been ripped apart by war and rival houses see seek to claim Forester Ironwood for themselves. And the fate of House Forester hangs in the balance. The trout, the trout, the trout in the town of the wolves got the fish and they all ran away. The trout, he flopped all the flowers and died. Another wall to pray. Two weddings, two weddings brought on by beheadings. The night he cooks for me. Two weddings, two weddings brought on by beheadings. Yet all is happily. All is happily. The great Jamie Lannister. Kingslayer, both breakers, brought to his knees by the men of the north. And set free by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. Lord Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. Damn. Oh, man, I'm such a little bitch. I gotta clean this shit. All right, pick up the sword. Make sure it's spotless this time. Lord Forrester won't be happy with blood and brains all... Oh, dude, don't even worry. Oh, yeah. Now that Slide your hand up and down sword. the shaft. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? You'll never have a sword like that. Fuck you. I say that as a friend. And if we're being honest. Oh, don't be an ass, Bowen. Apologies, your lordship. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> and in what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> you think he's lying? No one never lets the truth stand in the way of a good story. You captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Old Forrester. Not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face! You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. Oh, I'm questioning Norrin's story. This grows more far-fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. It's your job. You do it. You're his squire. It's your job, not mine. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forrester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battlefield. <laughs> Fetch your coat. Tonight we celebrate. Tonight we dine in hell. Kool-Aid man, thanks for stopping, buddy. Welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you. To Rob Stark, the king in the north. The, the king, king in the north! north. Tomorrow, we march the king on Casterly Rock. And House Forrester has been given the greatest honor. To lead the young wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. The ride as the vanguard. Onward to Casterly Rock. Oh, oh shit. Winter is coming. Let's hope we waste till this bloody war's over. Got it. Give me a sword, yes, my lord. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, 
And I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. I'd rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question, what's to be done with you? It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord? You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? Sexual favors. I want to fight! Let me fight for you, my lord. You've more than proven your ability on the battlefield. No man would question that. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. Fuck yeah. It's well deserved, Garrett. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go, and find Roderick if you can. I will, my lord. Thank you. My lord. Bloody hell. Empty. Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Come on. Can I get up to you? Fine. But you owe me. Oh, you? I've been a squire longer than you have. I outrank you. Oh, shit. Don't tell him. He'll be fucking mad. I'm not a squire bitch anymore, Wine, dude. Scrub my armor, clean my boots. Just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. See, that's where you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. But not by much. Who doesn't love bacon? True that. Fucking true. Ah, pig farmers. God, I love bacon. <laughs> Fuck, I want some bacon All right I'm now. Is, I want a bacon at this rate, sandwich. will never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. Squires for life. Fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. Well, easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castling at House Forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? Well, it's right over there. It's right over there. The twin stronghold of House Frey. The Red Wedding. Take your time. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. Shut the fuck up and fill it. Nice night for a wedding. Not often he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. Oh no. What? What's wrong? They're being Stolen into you. You're acting rather odd. You've had too much wine. We need to get back. Now. They're fine. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. And <laughs> take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong with him? Something the matter. Bowen, we have to go. You go if you're in such a rush. Uh, save. <coughs> but what about... What the hell was that about? I'm saving your ass. What's the rush? We have to warn the others. Warn them about what? There's no time to explain. We need to find Roderick. He's out there by himself. Run. Run. <gasps> Bacon. Oh, fuck. It's about to go down. 
Uh, grab a sword. Start fighting, motherfuckers. Fuck! We need to get back to camp. Ah! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! I wasn't ready. I didn't even see the arrow. Run, run, run. Ooh! Oh, we good. Oh, we good, baby. Damn, it's too dark. I can't see shit. Run, Bray! Kevin, we have to get back. Yeah! Oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Got the shield. Got the shield. Click and hold, then drag. Oh, yeah, fuck your ass. Run into him! Run into him! Shoot that one! That one! Yeah, fuck you guys! I got a shield, bitch! Oh no. Yeah! Sideburns! Thanks, sideburns. Oh fuck. Look out! <laughs> oh no, no, don't hit me! Oh! Oh, look at that roll. Crawl forward to safety. I'm crawling. I'm crawling. Oh shit, get out! Q, 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 Q! Get out! Get out! I'm good. Oh fuck. Oh yeah, fuck your way. Oh shit, I'm resting Q. Oh, he's choking the fuck out of me. Somebody, somebody save me. Somebody save me. Yes. Yes. Fuck you. Oh, damn. Oh, no. I got him. Oh, I fucked up. I could do. Oh, Rip. Find a weapon. Quickly. Oh, fuck him. We got that sword. Oh, uh, got the sword. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, man. Thanks, brother. Oh. Go, my lord, while there's still time. It is really fucking dark. Seven hells. You're wounded, my lord. I've suffered worse. Ironrath, where it belongs. There's no time to waste. I'll be damned if I let it fall into the hearts of those traitors. Brother Frey said you have to go. You're welcome to the fucking torch. Oh you shit. Must go. I, I, shit, I was silent. Oh fuck, what was Tell I supposed to uncle. say? <laughs> Tell him the North Grove must never be lost. No one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those uh. fucking foresters! Uh. Damn, he just grabbed the sword like a man! Uh. The end.
intro! God damn! Shit is just getting started, man. People dying, man. Why did? Ah, ah, my heart. Why they do this, man? They're killing all the good people. Those bastards. Those fucking bastards. The wall. Them trees. Holy shit. That intro. Episode one, Iron from Ice. Okay. Forester lands, the king's road. Look at how fucking big that sword is. It's bigger than me. Ooh, bacon. I love me some bacon. Slice him up, let's go. All right, before, hang on. You guys said the the brightness is a little off. Graphics. Uh, no. Ga what the hell, man? I need brightness, dude. Gameplay, maybe? No. Audio, video, brightness. There we go. All right. On the road again. Oh. Oh, I thought it said lick the blood. Lord. <laughs> Fresh. Oh. Ripping pieces, dead pig. Cut it up. You gotta eat. It's already dead, right? Why not? Oh, some smoke. Are we going towards it? Oh, there's a wagon. There's nothing in it? Not even gonna check it? Oh. An overturned cart. That's father's car. Oh, fuck. Bolton better give us fucking titles for this. Victor may be common, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> oh, fuck! I'm just gonna walk in? What is my- what am I doing? Oh, fuck. Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <laughs> Father, I said move on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking Fuck pigs. you. I'm going to kill you. Is that so? Yeah, it's so, bitches. You can try if you like. And then we'll feed you to the pigs. Get off my land. This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new warden of the north. I reckon he like a proper lordly sword like that. Oh, fuck. I'm scared. Mistake. Maybe I shouldn't be sword fighting yet. No. I'll have that sword, boy. You will not. Fuck you. Hey, you'll have it. I. <laughs> oh, you'll <hey>. have it. <laughs> he said, "Hey." Fuck him. <laughs> oh fuck. Fuck him again. Oh no, we fucked up. Oh no, I fucked up. Finish this fucking pig farmer. Pathetic. I fucked up. Oh yeah, pitchfork time, motherfuckers. Uh, are, yeah. Hatchet. Oh fuck. Oh fuck yeah. 
One down, two to go. Come on, man. There you go, grab the sword. Oh, fuck me! Q, 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 E. There you go. Oh, that probably hurt, yeah. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Oh, fuck me. Nah, kill him. Fucking kill him. Yeah. Without me, I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. Fuck you. No, please. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Oh, I was gonna kill this guy too. Fuck. survived that I did father you got some interesting eyebrows though oh, she hid I tried to stop them I'll kill the men who did this. Rest in peace. Iron Wrath. Stronghold of the House Forester. Of House Foresters. Damn, my leg's still all fucked up. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Carrot! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! So much sad. Two White Hill soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. Fuck, man. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Mister. Mm, the blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. I'd do it again if I had the chance. If we don't respond with strength, they won't stop until they have everything. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Hold the wound open for me, would you? Oh, fuck. Oh, good God. Ah, no, 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 you can't just do that. Oh, These are dark days, I fear. To lose the Lord of the House and the Eldest Son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Our house will never fall. By the gods, let's hope you're right. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh, this might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. 
Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Hmm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. Uh. Badass. I'm fine. <laughs> I'll be Don't, Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. I'll walk around. Watch, I'm gonna end up falling on my face. The Lord's chair. Look at the Lord's chair. Sit in the Lord's chair. I don't think they'd be very happy about that. Look at the window. The Ironwood Grove. <coughs> the maggots, they stink. They're making me cough. What the? Go this way, you turd. An ironwood shield. Hmm. The strongest wood in the known world. I'm gonna end up falling on my mm. face. You seem to be favoring it. Always sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Mr. Tengren. Look, I'll show you. Stop walking around like a bitch. Show the sword to him. It's a good thing you've done, bringing that back to House Forrester. By right, that belongs to Lord Ethan now. Even a sword as strong as this would barely make a dent in a shield like that. What do you want me to do, man? Just keep walking around? Mm -hmm. What the fuck? I may be mistaken. You do seem able to put weight on it. Yeah, I'm fine, dude. Let's get on with it. Fucking give me some biscuits and gravy or something, man. I'm starving. I've been traversing the lands, and there's maggots eating my leg. So I'm, you know. Did I your leg feel weak? No. I just wanted to ask you. Why do the White Hills hate the Foresters? I think it's safe to say the feeling is mutual. There's been enmity between the two houses for as long as anyone can remember. I don't doubt someone killed someone which led to more killings of someone's and then, well, here we are. Can I go now? I believe your leg will be fine. Any time will tell, but... Lady Forrester. Lady Forrester. Welcome home, Garrett. We're all relieved to know you survived. Thank you, my lady. Talia asked to see you. Garrett, I heard what happened. Is it true? Your family... I'm so sorry. Nato. How old is she supposed to be? I don't want to Off say anything to I shouldn't. Now. Hurry on. Good night. I don't know how old you are. Garrett was just telling me how valiantly Lord Forrester fought to the end, even when all was lost. I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. Whatever you can recall. He was a hero, my lady. The bravest man on the battlefield by far. Yet he was unable to save his own son. You were with Roderick, no? I'm sure it was chaos and confusion. But if you can remember anything, I'm sure Lady Forrester would like to know. He... He fought valiantly, my lady. Of course he did. He was House Forrester's best. This has been so incredibly difficult for us. Especially the children. But I was told... I was told you were the last to see my husband alive. Yes, my lady. I know it may be difficult to remember, but if I may ask... Was there anything he said? Any last words before he passed? If you can remember. It would mean so much to the family. Uh. He asked me to return this to House Forrester. He said this is where it belongs. With his family. Thank you, Garrett. Of course, my lady. It demands a response. Oh, fuck. It's too dangerous, especially now. Now is the time to prove our strength. 
I'll be sure it's given to Ethan. Duncan, this was our land. They were our people. Your family. I share your outrage, Sir Royland. I do. But now is not the time to provoke the White Hills. Not with Ramsay Snow coming to see us bend the knee. The hell with Ramsay Snow, the bastard. Garrett, you understand what this means. You killed a Bolton, and Ramsay Snow will want his retribution. We're the ones that should be demanding retribution. They killed my family. And they'll pay for what they've done. That much, I promise. But now is not the time for vengeance. It's not now. When? We have to be smart. Ramsay Snow will be here within the week. And what would you have us do? Nothing. I would have us use our heads, while they're still attached to our shoulders. Garrett has lost as much as anyone else within these walls. Maybe you can talk some sense into your uncle. Garrett's suffered enough already. You asked too much of the boy. He deserves to be heard. It was his family they killed. They deserve to die. All of them. I say we fight. Ha! Listen to your nephew. He speaks sense. With what army? Our best men were killed at the Twins, along with our lord. Then what's to be done? Well, fuck. I don't know. Ultimately, it will be for Lord Ethan to decide. He's just a boy who can barely hold a sword. He knows nothing of how to lead men. He is the lord of this house, and he needs our help. It's bad enough the Boltons would have us bend the knee and swear fealty. But now, this. But I'll accuse you of murder, and us of protecting you. The boy was just defending himself. I'm not faulting him for what he did. I'd have done the same, as any man would. It wasn't murder. It was justice. Not in their eyes. It's just the excuse Ramsay Snow would need to put us to the torch and kill us all. I'd like to see them try. I'm afraid it's a risk we cannot take. Which is why you cannot stay. Cannot stay? You can't send me away. We have no choice, Garrett. Where would you have the boy go? The one place that's safe, beyond the reach of the Boltons. You're sending him to the wall? Fuck. The boy's done nothing wrong. Not in the eyes of the Boltons. I'm afraid it's the only solution. I'll do what's best for the house. So I'll go. I'm not afraid. I know it doesn't seem fair, but it is what's best. That settles it then. You can have my horse, and I'll see you have plenty of food. But we haven't much time. The White Hills will come looking for you. To the wall. Oh, he just poofed. What the fuck? Uncle, Word excuse me. me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given a chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. He promoted me. At the twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and... and I at Roderick's side, but... It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. Thanks for subbing, Hulk. And Blackwing, thank you guys. the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Is this the only person I'm supposed to tell? I don't remember who I was supposed to tell. Lord Forrester. Asked me to give yeah, okay, I think it is. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry, you caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. What is the North Grove? Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools, and it's better kept that way. You haven't told anyone else, have you? No, I haven't had a chance. This is important, Garrett. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. From this day forward, this will be our secret. But soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. 
but don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. To the wall! <sighs> Till the sweat drips down my balls. I am from ice. I'm just kidding. I am from ice. I am from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll make you proud. You already have. Well, she. Farewell, sirs. I'm off to the wall. Well. Garrett, wait. Oh, wait, what up, pretty lady? You want to come with? Hop on my horsey. That is a really erect necklace. Talia's necklace. Be safe. Oh, I will, girl. You stay right here for me. Make sure you make sure you're a little bit older when I come back. Cause I don't know what age you are. Don't want any weird things going on, you know? A long road ahead, achievement unlocked. Ethan? Ethan? Ethan! Ethan Forrester, Lord of House Forrester. Ethan, what the fuck are you doing? I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he were smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. You found me. Well done, Ryan. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here. And I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here. And Asha. And... And Roderick. I do too. But Mira's in King's Landing and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. Jesus. Ryan, she's perfectly safe, I promise you. I don't want Garrett to die either. Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Garrett is strong. He can take care of himself. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. <laughs> <coughs> Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. He doesn't know me or, or what I'm capable of. What does milksop mean? I don't know, but I know it's not good. <laughs> Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like a man. Like a man. He taught Roderick and Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. Damn, I thought he was gonna smack me right in the face. About to beat his little ass. I remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asha. We'd all be out here for hours. Yeah! Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then, well, then everything changed. Roderick became so serious, the Lord in training. And he never smiled anymore. And Asha, Asha just got angry. At everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please, just be you. I like you the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I may have to change. I'd rather have my brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. Damn right. Thanks, Dangerous Agent. Uh, Thanks for subbing. Since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. 
everyone will have to do as you say. So I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the Lord. OJ Silver, thanks for summoning, buddy. Welcome. Lord Ethan, I appreciate you're it. needed in the Great Hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. Don't tell me what to do. I'm the fucking Lord. Sons of bitches. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived, unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. I might remind you, Sir Royland. I'm the new Lord of House Forrester, not you. Of course, my lord. It's okay. You should go. It's what must be done. Told his Fine. motherfucking Let's ass. Be done with it. That is gonna try to. He's gonna try to do some fucked up shit. I know it. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. Now prove it. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men go Let me talk to him. I got this. Let me handle it. Can I help you, motherfucker? That's what he should say, right when he walks in. What's up, fat ass? I'm just kidding. Jesus, that'd be rude. I'd probably die. Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. Mm. I've been waiting for this day all my life. I may be young, but I'm not so easily fooled. You're trying to rile me. But it won't work. Young? You are that boy. Too young to know when you're in over your head. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives a lord with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Calm yourself, old man. Damn you right. Little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord. Yeah. You foresters have shit on us for generations. Well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? We're the power in the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. That's enough, Lord Whitehill. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Needs a fucking haircut. Oh, it's this fucking guy. Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business. Keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. 
And you are the lord of this house? We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. Soldiers worth a hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. I'm not leaving until I have my justice. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. Someone cut this dude's fucking what hair. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You Mother. bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... this is not over. It's over when my son says it is. This is over, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. Damn. Got his uh, ass. Maybe Lord of this house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. You're a craven, Lord Whitehill. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you too. Bowl cut. Yeah, defiance. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. Oh, hell yeah. Your sister can help us. <coughs> Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. And Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the king may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay. If it's presented to her as it should be. Damn, she got some hairy ass pits. Unless that was just a shadow. I think she got some hairy pits. Oh. Ooh, let's open the chest. Oh. We can't? Oh, we can't. We can't? We can't. No, we don't get. Oh! Sex toys. Oh, no. Just a gold. Just gold. We don't need to look at that. Look at the coin. Asha sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Essos. Father. Much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you, and I look forward to the day you can. Huh. Interesting. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. All right, no more of this shit. Let's get some grapes. Eh, dusty old tomb. Wonders made by man. A Lomas Longstrider. Longstrider. A gift from Roderick. Aw, that's just sad, man. I hope to see them all someday. Hi, Matt Casey. Thanks for summoning, buddy. I appreciate it. Let's look out the window. King's Landing. I wonder if it's sunny at Ironrath today. Oh, I like her hair. What the fuck? Walk, walk this way. Thank you, Derpy. Read. What's oh, a letter from Mother? It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope, and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. 
Oh fuck. Hello? Housekeeping? Let's go answer the door. It's gonna be some some man, probably. One moment. Hello? Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb you. That voice is really I can deep. Come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Who are you? The fuck? That voice is way too deep for this little boy. What is he doing? Watch what he's doing. You stealing? Your pardon, lady, but you all right? If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course. What the hell is he putting in there? He needs a bath. Work for Lady Marjorie. I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei. They appeared to be having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. Why are you telling me this? I heard them arguing about House Forrester and House Forrester. I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. <coughs> I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. Oh, it was cold. Ah, no. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Good night, sir. He's a nice kid. He's a cold boy. Oh, hello. Lady she got Marjorie, some breasts. You're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come. There's something we must discuss. Okay. Okay. From the day you arrived in Highgarden, I've thought of you more as a friend than as my handmaiden. A dear friend, in fact. Thank you, my lady. And you know how I feel about what's happened to your family. I feel your pain as if it were my own. What you've suffered is beyond imagining. You're very kind, my lady. Of course, Mira, but you must not despair. We will get through this together. You must understand there are limits to what I can say, especially here in King's Landing, now that I am to be queen. To have a handmaiden from the North whose family fought for Rob Stark. It raises questions at a time I can least afford. Cersei herself cornered me this morning outside the Royal Sept. She mentioned the northern girl in my service, and she painted you a traitor. She was very pleased with herself. Well, how did you respond? I told her you are one of my most trusted handmaidens, that you can hardly be blamed for the actions of your father and brother. Nonetheless, she demands an audience. She wants an apology of some sort, for what I don't know, but she's waiting for us now, and I promised I would bring you to her. I wouldn't ask this of you if it were not important. I cannot afford any conflict with Cersei with the wedding so near. What do I say? Find a way to appease her. Fuck, Humor tell me her. what to say. Tell her what she wants to hear. Fuck, that's a lot of goddamn pressure. See if the Queen Regent is ready to ah! receive it. What if I say the wrong thing and then I fuck up her being the Queen and... The game's gonna explode and I'm gonna game over and I die. Everyone just dies. I can't do this. You'll be fine. I know you will. You may feel one thing, but you must say another. Good luck. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I got this shit. It's easy being an asshole, but being nice, I. Ugh. That's not where- that's not my forte. Oh fuck. 
Hello. Oh, is that a? Wait a minute. Peter! You can do this. Is that Peter? Uh, I'm nervous. There's people looking at me. This guy. This guy's really sketch. It is. Oh. Ah, Lady Marjorie. Aren't you looking lovely this evening? You are not. Lord Tyrion. Tyr your grace? Oh, God. With your permission, allow me to introduce Lady Mira of House Forrester. Oh, God. Your Grace. The girl I must knows please her. Courtesies. Impressive. You may rise. Fuck. Fuck. House Forrester is a northern house loyal to the king. Are they? I beg your pardon, Your Grace. I wasn't talking to you. I want to hear from the girl. Is your family loyal to the king? Perhaps you should ask the new Lord Forrester. He's not here, is he? She is. Yes, Your Grace. To the one true king. The one true king. Yet she didn't say which. Fuck. Was clever. She only meant. I don't care what she meant. I care what she said. Uh oh. I won't stand for impertinence from a girl of the north. I said the wrong if thing. If you would give her the chance to explain. Perhaps she can explain why the foresters have been loyal bannermen to House Stark for centuries. A house of traitors. They were the wardens of the north. We all served at the pleasure of the king. Clever girl. Perhaps too clever for her own good. And she would have us believe oh, she didn't fuck. know which oh, fuck. she Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Is your house willing to swear fealty to your new liege lord, Roos Bolton? Absolutely. Yes, your grace. Sure. Absolutely. Fuck, I don't know. I see. Despite the fact Roos Bolton allied with Walder Frey. If it was me, I'd find it difficult to so quickly forgive the men who killed my father. Old allegiances are not easily abandoned, but now that the war is over, we must look to rebuild and forge new alliances. There are ships and shields to be built, and Joffrey will need a steady supply of ironwood for his armies. I'm told there are others who would happily serve that purpose, but I trust we can rely on House Forrester. Forrester Ironwood does seem rather unique. Yes, Your Grace. Sure, I'd... sure. It would be a shame to see it fall into the hands of another house. I imagine you'd do almost anything to prevent that from happening, wouldn't you? Ask any Lannister, and they'd do whatever was necessary to save Casterly Rock. It would be unfortunate to see another house lay claim to what's yours. Yes, Your Grace. I would do anything. Humor her. What would you have the girl do, Cersei? It's not as if she fought beside the Starks, wielding a battle axe for the Northern Army. It raises an interesting question, I suppose. Can we truly blame those who end up on the wrong side of the war? Our dear Marjorie here was betrothed to Renly Baratheon on the false assumption that he would one day rule the Seven Kingdoms. Can we fault her for her mistake? Should she be held accountable? I won't judge her, Your Grace. I wasn't there. I didn't face her decisions. Aren't you a delightful girl? If only one could flit through life without ever holding an opinion of their own. If there's a point to this, I hope you find it quickly. True that. True that. Loyalty can be such a hard thing to define. This city alone is filled with all sorts of ambitious opportunists looking to reinvent themselves. Pretending to be something they're not. Who knows what lurks within their hearts. If you are a girl from the North here in service to Lady Marjorie, one can only assume her interests are yours. Yet loyalty to a king, that must be absolute, beyond question. And if your loyalties were to become conflicted between your king and the very person whom you serve, what would you do then? I'm sure she would... Let the would... girl answer the question. Go on. 
I would be true to the king, your grace. Well said. I was beginning to worry you didn't have your priorities straight. She is a threat to the crown, isn't she? The most dangerous handmaiden in all of King's Landing. My sense is this girl will say almost anything to get what she wants. Which is not very encouraging. Fuck you! You put like a lot of pressure on me! A lot of pressure, man! Of course, your grace. Holy fuck! Lots of pressure. Just out of the blue. I'll walk you. What hell's a man supposed to do? This may come or a as woman. a surprise, but I met your father once, at the tourney at Lannisport. Even then he didn't trust Drews Bolton. We only spoke briefly, but your father struck me as an honorable man. You have my condolences for his loss. These would be trying times for your family, even under the best of circumstances. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. That's very kind of you to say. That certainly took courage. To so publicly declare your loyalty to Joffrey for all to hear. Poor Lady Marjorie was humiliated, although Cersei seemed quite pleased. It was quite the first impression. I, of course, found it all highly entertaining. I was trying to appease her. I think that was clear to everyone. <laughs> God damn it. My sister and I have our differences. She takes great pleasure in her little charades. I take mine in thwarting them. We must find our amusements where we can. She threatened to give your ironwood to another house. It is the master of coin who decides such matters. The crown needs boats. Boats need wood, and I speak for the crown in this regard. Not her. You can help my family. I suppose the crown could be persuaded to secure ironwood from House Forrester. Lady Marjorie might not look favorably on such an alliance. And it would infuriate Cersei. Fuck Although her. what would be amusing for me might prove rather dangerous for you and your house. Are you willing to risk that? It may be far too dangerous. I am. It's a risk I'm willing to take, Lord Tyrion. Please. You are a brave girl, aren't you? I'll consider it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I promised Sansa I would join her for dinner tonight. For the house, I have to. Three beautiful bottles of Dornish wine await my arrival. The mere thought of them makes me thirsty already. I hope we meet again. Nothing would make Cersei happier. Until then, be careful. This is not the North. King's Landing can be a nest of vipers to the uninitiated. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ah, bad things are gonna happen to me. Uh. Oh, what up, Mira, girl? How I you doing? Worried. How was it? Cersei has a way of looking at you as though you're nothing. It's more than a little intimidating. I'd rather not discuss it, if you don't mind. Of course not. It must have been horrible. But at least it's over now. Lady Marjorie has spent the entire day working on seating arrangements for the wedding. Of course, you and I are seated way at the back. Here with the fourth cousins and the ninth born sons. Ah, Sir Jamie. I wouldn't mind tarnishing that white cloak of his. Sarah, wow, a little what? slut. It's true. Jesus, you can't just say and those things. over in Martel. Wow. I'm told he is he quite has a handsome. He is quite handsome Ooh. and quite passionate, from what I've heard. He's got a big penis. Is Perhaps what she Lady means? Marjorie can make the right introductions. Who knows? We might meet our future husbands. Although marrying a king, I can only imagine what that would be like. Would you marry Joffrey if it meant you'd become queen? Fuck no. Fuck that little he shit. He does have a certain look about him. Not to and Joffrey. And he's always treated Lady Marjorie well. I'd be willing to marry, but not Joffrey. Fuck that Well, dude. I would marry him. Imagine the power you would have as Queen of the Seven Kingdoms. You're a slut. I might even allow you to be my handmaiden. Oh, thanks. 
You're a fucking slut. Let's see, who else should we marry off? Brian of Tarth and Tyrion Lannister. <laughs> what a perfect match. Sir Bronn and... What are you doing? We're just hanging out. <laughs> Me lady. Well? Sarah? Oh, shit. Shit, I didn't click on anything. We're both sorry. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I meant to click and I fucked up. My fingers this are broken. It's not a game. It's a battle plan. Allies and enemies can be made with every move. Yet they say it is men who are powerful. The Queen was pleased by your display, Mira. I'm just glad it's over. King's Landing can Fuck. be exhausting sometimes. There's always someone to please or some perceived slight to smooth over. I fear it will only get worse when I am queen. Once they know your true heart, the lords and ladies will have no choice but to love you. Do you agree? Of course, yes. Once you are queen, the lords and ladies will do their best to please you. You learn very quickly. You were brave agreeing to obey the Boltons. That cannot have been easy. I know you must fear what Lord Bolton might do to your family. I do appreciate your willingness to appease her, as difficult as it may have been. Thank you, my lady. There's been something on my mind. Something important. I... I did have a favor to ask of you in return. Whatever you wish to say, you can say it in front of Sarah. There are no secrets between us. It's about my family. I trust her. Fuck. Go on. Ask. I, fuck, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what they I even asked. a letter from my family. Oh, fuck. I fear my family will suffer if Ramsay is left to do as he likes. But if a raven could be sent to the Boltons to let them know House Forrester has the protection of the crown. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. That is no small request. Especially now. Joffrey knows only too well your family fought for the Starks. And now you would have me ask him to intervene. Is the situation that dire? You can't, my lady. King Joffrey won't like it. Just think how he turned on Lady Sansa. I will forever be in your debt. My family will forever be in your debt. I don't know, Mira. If Cersei were to find out... Don't let the Queen bully you. You have power over him, Lady Marjorie, as no one else does. Not even his mother. Ramsay Snow will arrive at Ironrath within the week. I would never ask this of you if it weren't so urgent. Very well. I'll make your request, but I cannot promise anything. Thank yes. you, my lady. I will send a raven to my family at once. She got nice boobies and she helping me out. Woo! That's right. Thank you, me lady. My lady. King's Road, Wolfswood. Oh shit, we're back to... Oh god. Willard, thanks for subbing. Oh fuck, I lost my horse. Oh Seven no. Hells. It's so dark. Hey, I can't see shit. Oh, some dude's screaming. We gotta save him. Save him. Oh my god. Oh fuck, don't save him. Too many people. Let's play a little game, shall we? 
Did you know my ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat? <gasps> Did you see me? Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have full enough practice. But he didn't make it easy. What with all that bloody noise? <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. Hello? As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father was the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Oh, fuck! Uh, a day, my lord. Two at most. What was that? My lord? Shh! Listen! Fuck, we don't have a horse. We gotta hide. We gotta fucking hide. There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Run. <laughs> Fucking run. <gasps> huh. It worked out. It worked out. I just fucking got out of there. Bolted. Lord Ethan. As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What do they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. And what will they call me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others, the Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Oh, fuck. What do you do? I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! <laughs> Lord Ethan. Mister. Why did you kick this man? This Craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Is what Sir Roylan said true? Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I have a family <coughs> to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Stop Please smacking him, you fucking Lord asshole. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. We are in this together. You say that, but it won't be you who's starving come winter. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their Lord will not permit it. We can send him to the war. Fuck, man! All these goddamn decisions! 
I will decide. Send him to the wall. Take his fingers. He's a thief. If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. Oh, mercy. Our house tends to its people. See, this man is paid and his family is fed. Lord Ethan, you are truly a merciful and noble lord. My lord, this man is a criminal. A brazen thief. He still serves House Forrester and deserves our protection. He's a rat in our grain stores. My lord, we must speak about our gold reserves. Soon. My lord, I thank you for the mercy you've shown me. I will never forget my debt to you and to this house. You better, you little shit. Or next time I'm taking your hand. <laughs> your right hand, you won't be able to beat off. We all know he's a right That hand. was certainly unpleasant. But a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on, no matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom, who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then. To show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Fuck, another decision! Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. I'll make the right choice as sentinel. I know who I want to pick. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. I already know who I want to pick. Uh, but that motherfucker right there will backstab me. I bet in later episodes if I don't pick him. And this guy, I want to pick him. Fuck. Duncan. You know I want to pick. I got to pick Duncan. Yes, my lord. It's the right choice. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As lord. I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. Would you want to be the sentinel? More than you can imagine, my lord. With all due respect for Sir Roiland, there's no one better suited to the role than me. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. I don't even need to talk to the other guy. I will. I will. I'll talk to him. Because but I should talk to my Slash sister probably and too. Oh no. Slash Never mind. And what do you think, Malcolm? Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. 
My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Royland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Why Sir Royland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Royland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. That's true. Ethan, Guys, that's true. We saw what you. Snow did. Fuck this decision. He's right. We saw what Ramsay Snow was Mother like. told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrett being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Who should I name as my sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart, and everyone trusts his judgment. Sir Royland is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. Fuck. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Fuck. Flush right. That means now. All right. Sir Royland. Sword up. Swing left. Sorry. Wrong. I didn't know Sir dogs could hold swords. A word. Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority, and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud. Duncan Tuttle is a good man. Aye, a fine man. Why is he? But he has no business being sent in. He likes to talk. But now's the time for action. So, when will you declare your decision, my lord? At the council. Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Fuck! I don't know. I don't know. We're just gonna... We're just gonna wing it. And, uh... Whatever I press, I press. Maybe it won't make that big of a difference. Oh, give the bracer to. I feel like everyone's gonna go Duncan. We're gonna go Royland. We're gonna go Royland. We're gonna do it. Royland? I've decided to name you as my sentinel, Sir Royland. Thank you, my lord. Are you sure? Fuck! I know! Why did you... No, I'm not sure. Ah! Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of course. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm convinced you're the man for the job. Yes. Then I yes. accept. But you must summon the small council, my lord, to make it official. Right. I'll tell Maester or Tengren to do it at once. I don't know. That might just be a terrible decision, but I made it. Nicksters, thanks for subbing. Oh no. Oh no. Can I still go back? Possibly. What if at the council I change my what if I change my <laughs> Well, we'll do it at the the council. It's fine. Maester. Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? 
What is your perspective? What is it you're doing over here? Oh, admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the city. That's not what I thought the question was. It may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be? We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life. Ransom or a robbery? You may pay him now, but what's to stop him from coming back again? Lord Ethan, the dangers of today outweigh the fears of tomorrow. That is true. My lord, are you now ready to name yes, your sentinel? Yes, I am ready. Yes, Maester, I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Fuck. Do I still have a do I still have the option to change? Duncan or Royland? Ah! Royland is going to get shit done though, and I feel like if I don't pick him, he's going to end up backstabbing me. Maybe he'll backstab me either way. Duncan Unless it already made, I wonder if it already gave the decision or made the decision for me, because I gave him the break. Hopefully, it lets me decide again. No, you may sit. I, don't know I believe what, Lord what, Ethan oh. has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you, Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. I have? No, I haven't. Fuck. I'll give it to my mom. Ah, oh, Duncan, I have Duncan to. Total. I'm the. You I'm a fucking good sentinel. man. I have to give it to Duncan. I'm sorry, guys. Tot I'm sorry. This, this is reckless. Lord Ethan has made his choice. I'm sorry, Royland. You're going to backstab me either way because you're a you, fool. You make a fool of me, my lord. You as much as promised it to me earlier. I did. Oh, fuck. I fucked That's up. That's quite enough. The matter is settled. Oh, I fucked up. I fucked up. He's so salty. He's so PJ now, salty. Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsey Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. With no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can handle Ramsay Snow. He doesn't scare me. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Royland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. I will hear from my sentinel. Please. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. God, he's right, though. Fuck. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! <sighs> My new Sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance and try to reach a reasonable agreement. If you aren't ready for a fight, you're bound to lose when one breaks out. Shut Ethan up. has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. 
Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. I like Ooh, that. I like that second one. I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Fuck yeah. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. No, it's not. How many years have I served this house? It probably I is. I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Forgive me, my lord. But you are not ready to be lord of this house. Hey, fuck you! You're likely to get us all killed! Sit down at once. I just went with your plan, you dumbass! Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Fuck. My lord, you have named your sentinel, but you still seem conflicted. And no matter what, you can't be indecisive. Not if you want to help this house. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership, which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. <coughs> what about your brother, Asher? I already Malcolm know. Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Why would you bring him back after you exiled him? He exiled himself. He has no desire to rule. Asher is volatile, but that is his strength too. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. Asher is dangerous. And unpredictable. His presence could help or hurt. Having another sword at your side always helps. Especially now. Fine. Go get him. Get him. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Send him. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. I'm... These decisions, guys. <sighs> Strange key. Pick it up. Fuck it, who cares? Take the key. Oh. I don't want to steal. What's this for? Shit, now I don't have a choice. Shit, what if I need that? The family seal. 
I can't just steal shit. No, I can't steal. She just helped me return it. I'm not gonna steal anything. She just Marjorie? helped. Oh fuck. Oh, Lady Marjorie is still with the king. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. You're sweet to offer, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... Uh oh, she looks sad. Oh no. Oh no. He said no. My lady, I'll leave you to talk. Um. Are you alright, my lady? The king was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. Gods. Wait, what? He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. I am so sorry, my lady. I should never have asked you for the king's help. Fuck. Please don't hold it against me. Ramsay Snow is on his way to Ironrath. This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Damn boobs. Oh, this is if I had the key and the my seal. Lady. Begging your pardon, my lady. I hope I didn't frighten you. I'm glad to see you. Thank you, my lady. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I can be useful to you. What do you want, cold boy? I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... Later, they dude. be willing to help you. Well, better send that raven. Hello, sir. Looking mighty creepy today. I'm assuming that's what you're going for. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Got it. Is. I should have. If I would have stole the key. Oh fuck. Maybe I could have wrote a fake Where's letter. Sir Roiland? I don't know. The man values pride more than honor. And without King's Landing, I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men stand ready to act if needed. The gods haven't favored us, have they? My lord, remember our words. Iron from ice. From that which seems hopeless, comes strength. Bolton men approaching, my lord! Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, I'm stressing. 
Oh, fuck. Some shit is gonna go down. Here he is, a little fucker. Hey, fucko. Something wrong with your gate. Yeah, you're staying right there, you piece of shit. Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. Nah. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? You're welcome inside, but your men are not. Did you hear that, men? The Lord of the House says, Fuck off. I think he's afraid of you. Wait here. For now. Not you, you fucking fatty. Go back. A token. For the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill. Can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn. Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Fucking hate this smug little bastard. Let's just kill him. Right now. Drive a stake through his heart. Quite the army you have. Lord Forrester. Very impressive. Some shit is about to go down. I'm fucking scared. Oh, I'm gonna make a bad choice. I'm gonna make a fucking bad choice. Wolfie Wolferson, thanks for summoning, buddy. I appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome. All right. What the hell? He was in front of me. How'd I beat him? Look at that. More foresters. Lord Ramsay. Come out where I can see you. What the fuck? Oh, creep. We really must focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. We'll see. First, let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. Fuck. My lord. Ha! That wasn't so hard now, was it? Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. You needn't worry. Your father will have what he needs. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One bolt. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. 
So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forth. Fuck you! What? what? No, they the won't. Ironwood. But... That is our livelihood. Then you'd better well find another fucking job. You can't do that. Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. The White Hills had ironwood, once, but now those hills are bare. Hence the name, of course. They know nothing of how to cultivate the forest. Look at their sigil, my lord. A barren hill. Do you want ironwood for the next five years, or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. Fuck yeah! We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of 20 men <gasps> within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan. They'll help maintain the king's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. Fuck. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Can't wait to Griff. cut his throat. We'll lead the garrison. You have no right. White Hills have no place here, lads. Do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Duncan, don't. Look at this little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay, please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Oh, twins. Well, like the queen and her brother. Well, hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. Jesus. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow. I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. You've gone too far, Lord Ramsay. I demand you let her go. I suppose you can stay. <sighs> Aren't you the brave lord? You're a fucking creep. <laughs> oh, no! What have you done? But I don't want a brave lord. <laughs> Far too much trouble. Ethan! Ethan! No! 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 Even though you did bend the knee. I think we've come to an understanding. I certainly feel better about all this. What have you done? However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bar. What the fuck? Take the boy as your boy. No! Kill him. Lovely meeting all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him. Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought me something to say. Please, stop! Don't let, let him take me! Go. Let it go! Stop that! No, please! Stop it! Let me go! Do something! Ethan? My son. My son. Ethan. What the fuck? Oh, my storage beat. Are you fucking kidding me? Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. 
We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen? You and 47.6% stayed with Bowen. You and 73.2% swore loyalty to the king. You and 40.4% 40, 40 freed Eric. You and 61.1% picked Duncan as a sentinel. And you and 36.9% met Ramsey at the gate. Fuck, I was in the minority of the la or that last one. Holy shit. And the freeing Eric thing? Man, there's a lot of brutal people. Holy fuck. That was an intense episode. That's just episode one. I need episode two right now. Fuck you, Telltale. Give it to me right now. God. Those sons of bitches know how to make some great games. Holy shit. I did not expect that to happen. Fuck. I thought it was going well too. I just I had just saved my sister. I had convinced him not to take everything and just fuck. That escalated quickly. That es that escalated super quickly. Yeah, Ethan got fucking wrecked. Oh my god. Well, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you for watching. If you guys are watching this in the stream, thank you for watching. You should take it out of sub only mode cuz I want to hear everybody's reactions. I... Oh! I can't even believe that! Demons! MM, thank you so much for subscribing, and Wolfie Wolferson. Thank you, guys. Um... Holy fuck, I did not expect that. That is... Jesus Christ. <laughs> that was fucked up. <sighs> well, and that was just episode one. I did not see that coming. Not at all. I'm so glad I didn't, like, nobody spoiled that for me. Because that would have, that came as a fucking huge, huge surprise. Oh my god. I wonder if he dies no matter what. I'm assuming he dies no matter what. Um, I highly doubt you can save him. But, I don't know, maybe you can. Fuck, I don't know, maybe I really fucked up. Maybe you can save him. By the way, Facebook and Twitter's down below. Check it out.